Way back in Project 2, we made Guess the Flag, which showed three different flags to users and asked them to select the correct one, in this case, Ireland. Well now, based on what you know about VoiceOver and how it works, can you spot the fatal flaw in our current program? Think about it. VoiceOver, by default, will use the image name as a description of an image. There you are, one for you, and one for you. And so, when it sees a screen like this one, it's gonna read out US, then Ireland, then Russia, and it'll then say, tap the flag of Ireland, so it's pretty clear which is which. There's not much competition here. And so, the game isn't much fun for folks using VoiceOver. To fix this, we've got to add text descriptions for each of our images that allow folks who have learned the flags to play the game without giving the game away, without saying Ireland or Russia or Germany or Estonia or who knows what. Now, right now, we have all our uh, flags done by a single countries array with Estonia, France, Germany, Ireland, da, 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 dot shuffled. The easiest thing to do is to attach our descriptions right in there to describe each one of these flags as a key value dictionary, with the keys being the country name, the value being the description of that flag. And so, I'm going to go ahead and enter in descriptions for every one of those flags. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me do that. That'd be quite tedious. I'll just press Command-V, and if you go to the chapter for a particular video, you'll find it there. You can copy and paste exactly the same. But these are my descriptions for the various flags of the world. Now, with that done, we have our countries array still, we have in our labels array still. All we're going to do now is add a label to our flags that link the flag images to those flag labels. It might sound simple, but it has to do three things inside. Uh, if you remember right now, sorry dog, stop scratching for a second when I find this code. If you remember right now, we use, <laughs> ow, we use country's number to read Estonia or France or Germany or UK or whatever from each of our uh, countries. So we have a whole array of places, shuffle them up, end up with various places. We then read country's number to get France, for example. We've got to use that to get the country name for our item. It's like doing the image right here. We then put that into our labels dictionary as the key. So we'll say, okay, I've got France, give me labels France. And we'll get back, of course, this flag with three vertical stripes equal size line here, that description. And that will be the one we use as our label for the flag, describing it without giving the answer away. Now remember, because we're looking into a dictionary with the strings as the keys, we might have nothing there. We might have no description for the particular flag we asked for, so we've got to provide a default. In practice, this honestly should never happen because we're reading these keys based on the countries listed right here in our countries array here. So if somehow there's a bad country in there that's not in our labels array, that's our mistake. It should never happen, it's a programmer error. Anyway, putting this all together, we can go down to our flags, add a new modifier to do just this. We'll say that each flag has an accessibility label with labels, countries, number. And a default value of uh, unknown flag. So what we're saying is, give me the item in our countries array at this position. So give me countries one, for example, which might be Estonia. So we get the string Estonia back. We now say, okay, give me our labels dictionary with the key Estonia. That's our description. If we can't find that, use unknown flag. And now if you try running the game again, again in the simulator here, I can't do it with voiceover, you'll see it actually is a game with voiceover because regardless of whether you have voiceover or not, it no longer gives the answers away. And honestly, this gets right to the heart of what we're trying to do with all our accessibility code. We want everyone to have fun playing our games or enjoy using our apps or whatever, regardless of their access needs.